I'll now provide a timeline of the visit to Butler, Pennsylvania. On July 8th, personnel assigned to the agency's Pittsburgh field office conducted planning meetings and a site walkthrough with law enforcement partners and campaign staff. On July 10th, Secret Service counter sniper and technical security personnel arrived in Pittsburgh and began advanced planning for their teams. July 12th, the build out of the campaign rally site began and continued through the early morning hours of July 13th. In the morning of July 13th, a site briefing was conducted with Secret Service personnel and law enforcement partners supporting the event. Secret Service personnel took their posts and a technical security sweep of the protective site commenced prior to the site's opening to event staff, vendors, and to the public. At 12.30 p.m., the Secret Service opened the protective site to event staff and vendors. And then at 1 o'clock, magnetometer screening of the estimated 15,000 people attending the campaign rally event staff and vendors began. At 5.30 p.m., former President Trump arrived at the campaign rally via Secret Service motorcade. And at that time, he met with supporters in a secure backstage area within the protective site. At 5.45 p.m., a local Butler County Emergency Services Unit counter sniper team member texted the Secret Service counter sniper team leader about a suspicious person and sent two photos of the individual later identified as the assailant. As the assailant. At 5.53 p.m., the Secret Service counter sniper team leader texted the Secret Service counter sniper teams that local law enforcement was looking for a suspicious individual outside of the perimeter lurking around the AGR building. At this time, Secret Service personnel were operating with the knowledge that local law enforcement was working on an issue of a suspicious individual. The concept of local law enforcement working on such issues is common at sites. And on July 13th, there were over 100 calls for support. At 6 p.m., former President Trump took the stage to begin remarks. And based on what I know right now, neither the Secret Service counter sniper teams nor members of the former president's security detail had any knowledge that there was a man on the roof of the AGR building with a firearm. It is my understanding that personnel were not aware the assailant had a firearm until they heard gunshots. At 6.11 p.m., a member of the former President Trump's protective detail contacted their Pittsburgh field office counterpart to inquire about the radio update that there was an issue local law enforcement was looking into near the perimeter. At 6.11 p.m., the assailant's first volley of three shots was fired, and within three seconds, the former president's detail rushed the stage and covered former President Trump, shielding him with their own bodies. The four through eight shots took place over the next several seconds, 15 and a half seconds after the assailant's first shot, a Secret Service counter sniper fired a single round that neutralized the assailant. That concludes a quick brief summary of the timeline. And with that, I'll turn it over to our staff here to begin any questions.